So guys, amongst the ongoing issues of expiring PGWPs and work permits and other permits in Canada, one of the most important uh, issue that has been arising of late is that people are applying for LMIAs and based on those LMIAs, they are waiting to apply for their work permits. But unfortunately, these LMIAs are heavily delayed from the end of Service Canada slash ESDC. And then um, the employers or employees get into a crosswind of what's happening around these delays. What are the processing timelines? What to do if such delays happen and what should be followed up with? Just in case if you submit an LMIA, so basically a work permit without an LMIA, what should be your standard operating procedure afterwards so guys today in this video we will be talking everything in detail around the ongoing delays of lmias communication between uh, ircc esdc because i was in a recent conversation with um you know the director general at esdc we got to know a bit of some details as well so let's talk everything in detail in this video please be sure to watch the video until the end my name is sahil So guys, welcome back. Once again, my name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to speak with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, we are discussing everything around LMIA details, the LMIA delays, the processing timelines, communication between IRCC and ESTC. Now, just a quick backgrounder. Um, today in 2024, a lot of employers are facing the trouble of retaining their employees because these employees slash foreign workers in Canada, international students are about to lose their status. Maybe they're going out of status, their permits are finishing, studies have ended or their postgraduate work permits have ended. Now, in such situations, the employers are willing to help in retaining their employees slash these foreign workers and they apply for an LMIA. LMIAs are generally applied or are always applied at a department called ESDC, which is also known as Service Canada. And Service Canada is the body that is separate from IRCC. So the immigration body is IRCC. Service Canada, ESDC is the body that does the LMIA. Two separate entities. Now, whenever you apply for an LMIA at ESDC, they take certain time to process. Now, depending upon the category of the LMIA, high wage, low wage, PR supporting, PR supporting with extension, GTS, whatever, every LMIA has its own course of action, course of pathway, and they will follow that. Now, because ESDC is overloaded with tons of applications, and ESDC as we got to know during the NCIC as well when I was in conversation with uh, one of the very senior directors at um, ESDC, you see in the policy team. And we got to know that ESDC is plagued by a lot of delays because of the overload of applications. And they also have to be sensitive towards the compliance checks. Because of that, ESDC is taking time. Now, the processing times have gone as high as six months, like five to six months probably for low wage LMIAs. Personally for us, we have had high wage LMIAs being approved in as short as nine days for the same company submitted, LMIA submitted at the same time. So what, what happened was we submitted a high wage LMIA and a low wage LMIA for the same company in the same week. The high wage got approved in nine days, whereas the low wage got approved just about this morning, today morning. So it's been like this application was submitted in February and today is what June. So four months to approve the low wage and high wage. So I'm not saying all low wages will be approved in this way. I have known people who are waiting for six months also. Um, so if you are in the boat where your application for an LMIA is being delayed and your employee slash the foreign worker whom you want to hire or joining soon is getting out of status what to do so as per ircc if um, a status of an uh, immigrant slash uh, a foreign worker here in canada is expiring in two weeks then that particular um, uh, foreign worker can submit an application to extend his work permit 
on an employer specific work permit within those two weeks of expiry based on just the lmia number so what happens is your employer will give you the lmia number while the lmia is under process that lmia number and a proof of submission maybe a screenshot you can use in your work permit extension application and then apply for it and then you will be on maintained status very important to note here is now another issue that's happening is that when people are applying for this work permit they are still getting rejected because esdc is taking five months what ircc says is that if you don't submit us uh, an update within two months like 60 days precisely then we will potentially go ahead and refuse it so what you as applicants need to do is that within 60 days if you receive an lmia upload it uh, to ircc on a web form if not then at least send a web form to ircc saying that the lmia is still under process no update has been received we request you to kindly give us a give us an extension of the deadline okay and every time you need to include the screenshot maybe the payment has been processed all of that you include screenshots in your application in your web form and hopefully that will be you know helpful for you there is still no guarantees because it totally depends upon ircc as to how much time are they willing to give you in terms of an extension of this decision rendering okay guys um like i said uh, we were in conversation with uh, you know the director and we got to know that ircc and esdc do share they do have a common platform where do they do share certain uh, important information but they don't have uh, you know uh, a direct access to the result but you know because of that the it is the um, foreign workers or the applicants duty to upload the lmia directly through web form to ircc you cannot assume that ircc will auto fetch the status okay so that auto fetching will not happen they do have common grounds for their internal usage, maybe to verify, maybe to verify the authenticity of an LMIA, blah, blah, you know, all of those things. But as a responsibility, you can't expect IRCC to be auto updated that, okay, IRCC will know through ESDC that it is being processed. They need to wait and all. <coughs> no, it is your responsibility to update IRCC uh, within 60 days of the status. Okay also like i said timelines are all over the place um, hopefully uh, esdc will be working hard towards uh, you know improving the timelines but one thing for sure is commendable about esdc is that the officers at esdc are very helpful they are available um, on emails phone calls uh, whenever the processing is underway and uh, the uh, authorized representatives or the employers will have direct access this to the officers the program officer when the lmia is under processing so that's a very good part and there is an open channel of communication uh, so with that being said hopefully your lmias arrive in time and there are no potential delays guys i hope uh, the details share with you uh, are helpful and you got much insights into what's happening into the world of canadian immigration if you have anything to discuss with us, please feel free to schedule a consultation and we would be more than happy to speak with you. Once again, we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best. <music>